Hey everybody, Crackhouse Audiophile here with the Hanrong Da HRD 700. This was an AliExpress find uh, on the uh, 1111 sale uh, in 2021. Um, I just got it because it was cheap. It was probably about 20 bucks and it looked cool and it had a lot of functions on it. So I figured I'd, um, figured I'd pick one up and it finally came. Um, I wanted to share a video because I couldn't find any videos uh, in English on, on YouTube. So uh, I figured I'd throw a quick one together. I am not a professional YouTuber, so you'll just have to deal with my crappy uh, cell phone video and lack of editing. But just wanted to quickly uh, run through some of the functions and show you what this thing is all about. The first thing you'll notice if you get one versus what you see on AliExpress is that it's quite a bit smaller than you might expect um, based on the images. Um, not that AliExpress is misleading, but um, just kind of the shape of it. You, you, you think it's gonna be bigger um, and, it's, and it's tiny. You know, here it is in my hand. Um, but that's actually one of the strengths of this thing is that I, I don't know if I'd have much use for it if it was a lot bigger. Um, it's, um, you know, it's got the styling of, of an old military uh, gas can. Um, at least that's what it look, looks like to me. Um, and just has a ton of functions. So let's go through this real quick. I'll turn it on. Radio. So it announces the, uh, the function. Of 38 at and 41 at so this is cool. This is, um, it actually has a weather band. And you press this button here, you can switch between several different weather channels. So, so that's pretty cool because you don't see too many um, radios sold on uh, from places like AliExpress, especially that have a weather band. Um, it's it's really a North America only band. Uh, so that's a nice little extra. Let's change bands again. This is FM. So, decent sound for the size. The one thing about this radio, not having to do with FM, pretty much on any band, is that you just have to tune it very slowly. Um... The knob has a nice feel to it, but it's easy to skip over with the DSP chip and everything. Um, it's, it's easy to skip over. If you just tune it fast, you're, you're, it's easy to skip over stations. Um, let's change the bands again. So here's, um, here's just MW medium wave or regular uh, AM. Person. I don't know. I, I don't know. I can't yeah, again, say if I'm average or not. Because of the of, digital yeah. signal processing, the, the station just sort of clicks in. It doesn't fade in and out like Finally. on old radio. See through so that's why you just have to really the... tune it slowly or deliberately. Um, let's see what else we have here. Change the band again. Um, and there are. How many? Um, seven shortwave bands. I don't know if I'll find anything. Oh, there's something. Uh, deflection. Those, uh, you're opposed to of doing exactly what you yourself are doing. Fauci lied to so it's about two o'clock in North America, so the best I can hope for is a religious broadcast on shortwave. Um, but so there you go. AM, FM, weather band, and shortwave. Not too bad. Um, and then you can also you flip it again. That's a Bluetooth speaker. Bluetooth mode. You have to take my word for it on that one because it's, it's, uh, it's connected to my phone. Um, and again, it announces uh, what you put it on. Um, but yeah, sounds sounds good on Bluetooth. Nice little. It's a handy function. Um, you know, it's something this small, you can only expect so much for, for sound quality, but, um, you know, so it's, it's not going to compete with a Bose Bluetooth speaker or anything like that, 
but um, it's a lot louder than your phone and it's a pretty good sound given the speaker size. I think it's a 40 millimeter driver there. And then let's flip it again. Music. Six Okay, I'm gonna turn that off just to avoid any copyright issues, but you can hear that there's a there's an SD card in there. And um, it has, um, so you could just put music on there, MP3s and all that. You know, because it's a Bluetooth speaker, I don't know if I'll ever use that function all that much, but it's pretty cool to know it's there. And um, in the back, it has a rechargeable battery um, with, and, and it charges, where is that? Yeah, there's, in the back, you can see it has a USB-C input, so it's definitely a, a new item. And you can see there, there's the uh, the slot for the SD card, or the micro SD card. And um, so what, what else can I say about this thing? Just uh, some other kind of gimmicky toy features. Um, let's put the radio back on. Radio. Press this button here on top and you can change the display. You could have like a little equalizer type display there. So, that was pretty cool. It's a fun little toy for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. Um, and uh, build quality. Decent. I mean, you, you, you can kind of see what we're dealing with. It looks like a kid's toy, but um, so you know, it, it's not going to be uh, your primary radio if you're really serious about listening to shortwave. This probably um, this probably isn't going to do it for you. But it's a it's a cool thing to get. Like if if there's a you know, if you know a kid who um, is into stuff like this and um, might be interested in getting into shortwave. This is a, it's a nice intro. And um, if, if you don't end up using the shortwave at all, it's still uh, an MP3 player and a Bluetooth speaker. Uh, so you can't go wrong for, uh, for 20 bucks. Anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.